Hello and welcome back to the Gotham Sound coverage of NAB 2024. We're here at the Reading Audio booth with Yannick from Ambient. Hi, Nick. How are you? Good to see you. I'm fine. How are you? Very good. Very good. Fine. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So, um, what? Uh, for, first of all, the thing I'm most excited about: uh, magnets. Can I? Can I have one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, put it. Great. Put it on your fridge or. Put it on my phone. Or your sound card. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, all right. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. All right. So, what do you got? What What are you showing today? I mean, first and foremost, I, I, I want to talk about this uh, new um, collaboration we've been announcing. We are very proud that we are now a, a shareholder of uh, Viviana Cloud. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. For those who don't know, Vivi the Viviana Cloud Box is, is like a cloud backup solution, really dedicated for sound mixers. And we are now working together um, with Daniele on the next version of this. I can't tell too many details yet, but you know, Ambient, it's going to be a rock solid box with a lot of very nice features. and. I'm really excited to, to do this inspiring collaboration with this creative mind of this guy. Daniel. He's over here. He's there here. He He's over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make sure you put the mic oh, in yeah. his face. Uh, yes, of here. course. The problem I mean, yes, the great news uh, this year is that uh, we are, uh, Viviana Cloud uh, has got a new partner, Ambient, and uh, it's such a great pleasure and an honor for me to start working with uh, a big brand. Uh, uh, like Ambient, uh, and uh, we are working on a brand new and unique uh, and very innovative uh, new device that is going to be the new Viviana Cloud Box, yeah. and uh, that's it a great to thing. Have a place in, in any in any sound bag, um, an indispensable device. This is this is what we are aiming for. Yeah, yeah, great. All right, so we will see you in a minute over there to. to Absolutely. Go over the Viviana stuff. But anything else that you want to show off? Yeah, I mean, um, last year um, um, we, we announced our Quick Pull Slim. And uh, yes. uh, this, this and was. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. That. Yeah. Also we, just, nice we, just, we just did a very nice uh, video about that in, in Gotham YouTube channel. You can look at that about all the features. I mean, it was um, extremely well anticipated by our users because of this um, slimmer diameter. It is more lightweight. But also the locks were... Um, the, a lot of engineering went into this and we made it um, a big thing. So the good news for, for boom operators is now that we are going to um, apply our new locking mechanism also to the QuickPole 5 series. So okay. the, the batch that is currently produced all, is also already um, like using the new um, locking mechanism. And another very good news, I think, is um, because Ambient, we are, we are always looking that our products are like backwards compatible. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're going to bring out, thanks Benedict, is, is like this here. This will going to be a, an upgrade kit uh, for the locks that users can, like in a do-it-yourself style, um, uh, use to upgrade their old QuickPole 5 locks uh, with this new nice locking uh, mechanism. I mean, um, to put that clear, there's nothing wrong with the QP5 locks. Right. I mean, it's our best-selling boom pole ever. However, we really made it to do a, a big step forward mm -hmm. then. I mean. You can watch the video on Gotham Sounds where we're talking about this locks a lot. And yeah, we wanted to make it possible for uh, users who already own a QP5 to do it yourself, upgrade this. And I think this is, this is going to be a good thing. Yeah. yeah. So people don't get like, oh, well, now I have to buy yeah, a new boom. Yeah, you don't have to buy a new boom right. to, to, to get this going. Yeah. Right. Unless they want the slim features of it. Yeah, they anyway, that, that's that, that, absolutely. Fantastic. And then, yeah, there are some news on our Locket um, timecode and Genlock um, system as well. Mm -hmm. um, we just a few weeks ago we released um, our new Locket toolbox. Um, besides, like this um, uh, heavily needed design update, uh, going from a, a Windows 95 design to really a modern <laughs> thing. Uh <-huh. laughs> the, the 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 features now is that you can uh, attach several um, Locket devices at once. And you can uh, do like the um, settings for the, the relevant settings for all devices attached at once. I mean, this really saves um, a lot of time uh, if you if you have a lot of lockets, if you are a rental or if you own a lot of lockets. Um, it has like um, it's auto updating, so you don't have to download a new uh, toolbox all the time. It's, it's coming here, and also you can do all the settings um, as you know. Um, and what it's also integrated is um, the, the the downloading of the log files. Um, um, at the moment, there is still a, an, a, another application called NanoLockit Logger, where you that you need to offload the the, the marker files if you use the NanoLockit as a logger. Now that's integrated in the toolbox 
as mm. well. And what else? Yeah, I mean, since last year, we also um, published a new uh, firmware version of our lockets, the firmware 8. It has a lot of very nice features, but um, I want to highlight the, the so-called TX mode, which is um, that you can really use our lockets as a bridge for timecode in Genlock. Mm. If you start this device in, in TX mode, which, is, which goes by holding uh, red and press power, um, this is like um, waiting for an external source, timecode or also Genlock if you use a locket, to be fed in. And then it broadcasts it through ACN to all the other lockets. And it's not just a single jam like other brands are doing it. It's really like we are the, the, the locket device is tuning itself to the external source. It's tuning its, its internal crystal to the external source. Um, so that, that makes it possible for sound mixers to have a nice workflow that you use your own recorder as master clock. Mm. And you do all the settings, frame rate, time code in the menu of your recorder, then attach um, a locket to it and you're good to go. Good, it's yeah. just a nice and convenient workflow. Very cool. So uh, it, it says, we've got, this is our second interview, but it seems like efficiency and time saving is, is a big theme Absolutely. this year. So far, so good. So far, so good. And last but not least, a tiny little accessory thingy. Uh -huh. uh, this, we, we built this to mount our Locket Plus uh, to cameras. Oh. In, some, in some cases, you need this if you, for example, want to record uh, lens metadata from smart lenses or if you want to use camera metadata to send it to our Locket script app. The good thing about this is, uh, since our Locket Plus has the same form factor as like any slot-in receiver, you can also use this to mount um, other slot-in receivers on cameras in a very low-profile way. Okay. Um, so, yeah. This, this will be coming out soon as well. And then there are some new cables as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the yeah, highlighting. Yeah, the USB cables. Yeah, USB and all that. cables, yeah, uh, Dean cables for all the new cameras, the smaller Sony cameras okay. that accept time in a different way. Fantastic. Um, let That's me just it. check and see if there are any questions or comments uh, before we move on. Uh, let's just see. And all right, we are good. Okay, Yanni, thank then you so I'm much. Handing over. You're handing over to Daniele from Viviana. Yes, here we are. Here we are. Let's truck on down. So, oh, yeah, yours. Or here we are. So let's see go. something new. So apart from the, um, the collaboration between uh, Viviana Cloud uh, and Ambient, uh, I'm going to introduce, uh, we are introducing with Viviana Sound Solution, uh, the RF Saver white and uh, also beige color. Mm. So you will be able to have a perfect color match with the straps. That is, is very important. Then, uh, yes, we are introducing the Viviana Straps low profile model, okay, that works with all uh, the low profile transmitter available in the market. And basically, these straps, the low profile, are. Uh, Oops. The, the Velcro works very well. 20% smaller than the standard uh, size. So, as you can see. So, they are great if you are using uh, and investing a lot of money to to have a low profile transmitter. And then uh, last but not least, uh, I'm introducing these new Viviana box accessories. Oh, that, cool. That uh, is super nice uh, when you have to carry uh, sound accessories on set with you. And uh, it's unique because it has got these uh, third sections where you can put all the Viviana mold skin without having to cut it. And uh, it's super comfortable and very easy to use. And uh, it's going to be the orange one and also the purple uh, color. So <laughs> there is also uh -huh. a color code uh, because I'm used to carry in the orange one, for example, or uh, the Viviana Food for Love. Uh, instead, in the purple color uh, I carry, I'm used to carry the mount uh, and the other accessories. And that's it. Cool, great, I love it. Um, these have been the most popular, uh, this and the Viviana Extreme Tape have been the most popular things that, uh, in the last year. It's been really crazy. Yes, it has been very crazy with the Viviana Ref Saver. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't expecting this uh, great success, but uh, really, basically it works very well. And uh, I've got also many feedback from users. Uh, I had a feedback from a uh, Mexican user that have done a test using the Viviana Ref Saver and without using the Viviana Ref Saver on the transmitter. And uh, the gain of a ref signal was like plus 20 dB, of course, using the Viviana Ref Saver. So this is a great uh, tool uh, that 
I mean, the RF signal is uh, one of the most important thing that has to needs to have a, a good performance on set. So. Yeah, great. Uh, okay, so comments from the internet. They they loaded a little bit late, but um, Chris, we got your comment about ambient uh, making a. Um, yeah, about ambient. Uh, don't don't worry about it. We'll we'll get to it. I promise. We'll we'll get to it. And um, Justin says my favorite Italian. I assume that means you and not a chicken parm. Thank you. Um, and Henry Rapp says that he can't stop seeing the C stand set up backwards. Whatever that means, I have no idea. I imagine there was at one point a C stand set up backwards. Oh, is it that C stand? Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, you're right. Wow. Good eye. Holy cow. Good job, Henry. Um, all right, so we are going to move on down the line. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Daniela, great to see you. Great to see all the wonderful products from Viviana. I really would like to say also thanks to Gotham Sound because uh, you are doing a great job, uh, not just for NAB, but also during the year uh, for the sound community with Gotham Sound TV is great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to move on to uh, Scott Boland. Scotty, you ready? Here it goes, we're already live, so good for you. Finish chewing your food. Uh, what, why don't we start? So Scott Bowen, Reading Audio, uh, distributor, so you have to eat this like an ice cream cone, right with your food in your mouth. What are you eating, by the way? A cracker thing. Cracker thing, yeah. very nice, okay. So, all right, so let's get that mic in your mouth. There we go. Can we hear you? Check one, two, check hey, one, two. There we go. All right, live check. Are we so live stream? We sure are. Live. Let's go. All right, so. What's up, Gotham peeps? What's up? What's up? Um, so here we go. So, Scotty, tell me, you you represent a lot of different yeah, things. Yeah, we'll, we'll start. I, we, we do quite a few brands. Um, Cable Techniques, you guys probably know. That's a writing audio brand. Um, talk a couple things about that. And then we also started this brand, Eastwind Audio, which is a writing brand as well. Um, really the foundational piece is the next generation of the old Peter Ang Omni Goose, mm -hmm. so, um, which we're calling the TX Flex. So when Peter was retiring, I was like, I still need this microphone because it, people like it. Yep. So right before uh, he went into the abyss of retirement, <laughs> he, uh, he taught me how to make it mm -hmm. to his standards. And so we're making it and offering it called the TS, TX Flex. So exact same thing of what that was, mm -hmm. um, just rebranded and made, made by us and yep. not Peter Ang. So, so that's a Shure capsule on it, right? Yeah, it's a Shure. It's an Omni. It's a M202 capsule. Something or other, yeah. Yep. So that this, the gooseneck and the capsule are, are a Shure piece, and we just install the TA5 for Electro. And most people say, are you going to have a Limo version? That's the goal. Uh-huh. Because it'll fit nicely in a price position mm -hmm. because, you know, the DPA and, and the Sheps versions are quite They're pricey. expensive. Yeah, so. yeah. If we can stay in the $400 range with a limo, we'll be, we'll be great. Yeah. So that would be the goal. So also what Eastwind is going to do, just because why not, we're doing some like mic accessories under the brand too. Mm -hmm. So really high quality foam windscreens. We actually have a couple windshields. Um, we're doing a lot of stuff with the, like the sticky products. So we have made in USA, you know, sticky, sticky discs, 23 millimeter. Mm -hmm. um, has the, the foam sandwich in between the oh. super you know, sticky disc uh, material. And then, of course, the related uh, accessories with that, like the, the covers, the fur, fur covers with it. So all, uh, all pretty easy, but necessity products for, okay. for everybody. So a couple of comments uh, coming in that are relevant. So Bal from the UK says, Scott Balland, Scott Balland, <laughs> Scott Balland, Bal, Bal, you and Scott know, combined. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, coolest man in audio, talking about coolest you. Coolest man in audio. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's really hey, I nice. Try. I was a rock star in my, my uh, old days. You still know, are, so. still are. We're trying. Um, all right, so Alex says that he bought two of the goosenecks, and yes. he, they work great. So that's just a... I, I didn't hear you. What was that? Oh, Alex says he bought two of these goosenecks. Yep. Says they work great. Great to hear. So there we go. So, he, so somebody who owns it would also be interested in kind of a little accessory we're now going to offer for it is we could convert this into we can convert this into a podium mount oh okay now we plug it into here sorry i didn't bring the screws so now we have a ta5 ta5 so you can convert it if you want to 
you know, you can hide the, uh, the transmitter, have a little jumper cable. Mm -hmm. And also, too, you can flip this and you can use it to like mount things. So some Velcro or some other, we're gonna try to look at some mounting things. So in a rig where the transmitter is gonna be away from, from the mic, you can do that, so. Oh no, I knocked it over. But, uh, yeah, possibly. You could, I mean, you could certainly make an adapter. So far. Our service department could make the adapter. Yeah, you gotta, it's gotta be wired correctly yeah. and there's gotta be some resistors involved. So I ha we haven't found the ideal thing yet, why yeah. I didn't. Um, do it so so that's these wind so you'll see products come and go i mean we have some nice stuff but it's all really what east wind is about is really high-end products some must-have products but at really good pricing mm. so like a pack of 30 of these sticky discs it's 6.99 which is the cheapest in the industry but it's the same high quality that you'd get from from anybody wow so. um one other comment that we got about this uh, really a question uh so henry wants to know if uh, alternate shore capsules could be put on them, like yes, the cardioid. Okay. The reason why, uh, even like when Peter started it, mm -hmm. he went with the Omni. It has the best linear off-axis response. So head turns in a um, head turns in a car, which that was the main reason to make it. Mm -hmm. This had the best linear off-axis response, and it's the quietest of the capsules. So you put the hypercardioid or the uh, the cardioid capsule on there, it's noisier. Uh, I see. So okay. the Omni is kind of the best of both worlds for, for that, the compromise. Got but it. yes, you can put those capsules on here. So wait, does that mean it actually just comes off and you can... I'm sorry? It, does it mean it, yeah, it pops off on its Yeah, under the windscreen, it's just a little screw on thing. Oh, so easy enough. So you could yep. order the, the, the TX Flex and then put whatever uh, capsule you wanted to that was compatible. Yep. Absolutely. Great. All right. Uh, what else would you like to show? So, uh, so Cable Tech, um, I'm, I hope everybody is familiar with the brand. Um, we don't have anything really new like mind-blowingly new something in the pipeline that is but not new so really this year what we've done is kind of expand just offerings of of specialty cables mm -hmm. so you know we have the low pro locking those are cool TRS, so a bunch of sennheiser cables for that mm -hmm. you know with this connector to xlr to canon black magic and then we've got a lot of requests to get into the sony world with cables too, so uh -huh. which we identify with the yellow caps. Yep. So this would be, you know, it's different wiring than the Sennheiser. Mm -hmm. So uh, balanced out, and we have it to Canon as well. The dual receiver, we have a package of two cables. So kind of expanding the offering um, there. So what's going to be exciting, uh, probably in the fall, is we have a whole new, brand new connector coming out. The Low Pro quarter inch mm -hmm. will be available on a TRS and a tip sleeve for the guitar people, remember? <laughs> uh -huh. um, so we really wanted to do something unique. You know, it's not the sh shortest, stubbiest, like right angle one, but it actually is the only one that can kind of fit in patch bays and on channel strips where you can line everything up, even with XLRs, and fit them. So because of, of the nature. So we're, we just have to do a tooling tweak. It's made from scratch. It's not repurposed mm -hmm. parts, just like all our connectors made from scratch. It'll have different, you know, size outlet caps like our standard connectors do. It will have um, different sizes in the 10 colors. Cool. I love it. That's great. Yeah. Um, question about the stickies. Are they going to be available in square and rectangle? Well, the tooling for that is almost made. Okay. Short answer, yes. Not yet, but soon. Yes, it, it, it will be made. But, but honestly, too, you can, just, you can buy the Viviana ones, which are awesome. Uh -huh. but, so not just to plug them, but yeah, we will have them. But if you're looking for that stuff, uh, Turi has, has them. He's already got it. Great. Uh, so that was from Evar. Uh, Antoine says hi. And then uh, PR Katzman uh, says that he loves the new quarter-inch connector. Oh, awesome. Yeah? Yeah, I'm... I probably I haven't been. We've been working on this for a year, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm as excited as I was is when we started the, had the first connector. You know, because I think because the demand is really there, and it's yeah. it's really nice. You know, the whole idea is to make it really rock solid and, and high quality. Yep. You know, the solder, you know, lugs are rock solid the whole nine. So it's gonna be exciting and flexible too. I mean, I think people really love that they can orient these uh, in whatever way that they want to. Yeah. 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 It's uh. It's fun. And this is for fun, but it's, you know. Yeah. So, cool. All right. So, awesome. So that's uh, that's kind of what's rolling with, with cable tech. I'm gonna I'll shoot over and we'll talk about voice technology. Great. Let's do it. Let's truck on over. So we got 
Voice Technologies, the the Swiss Miss. Okay, yeah, Swiss, Swiss okay. Miss of, uh, of microphones. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, obviously most people know, you know, the VT500, the 506, mm -hmm. um, the VT403 has really made its mark over uh, the last few years. These which are so the small. Miniature. I didn't really realize oh, yeah. how yeah. tiny they are. And this one's very, very waterproof. Yeah, so what's new, um, so the 403 was available as a standard mic, which is, you know, it's a high SPL handling mm -hmm. um, lavalier, super tiny. And, well, here's the regular 403. And, you know, in the sort of theater performance thing, it's a great mic for, for singing type performances mm -hmm. because of the high SPL handling. And then they made a water adventure version, mm -hmm. which is the same capsule, just with the IPX7 waterproofing. Yeah. And it has the acid, you know, proof, tear proof cable. It gets kind of expensive, obviously. So this year, they decided to make just the 403 water. Uh -huh. So it's the same IPX7 head, but just with the standard cable where you really want to have it where it's sweat related. Mm -hmm. um, and you're not so worried about that the cable's going to get torn or damaged. Yeah. So the thing that we've been working on, which I've been happy that we're doing, is this right here. Oh. So if you're going to hook up a 403, any version, to a two-wire, like to a Limo 3 pin yeah. for all, uh -huh. you know, Wizzy, Sennheiser, Electro, SSM, any yeah. of that stuff, mm -hmm. sound devices, you want a two-wire, but you need a resistor. Mm. And putting resistors in Limos is a nightmare. So they built it into the cable. Ah, okay. okay. But if you want to do a three-wire, mm -hmm. so here's, here's a little bump in the cable. Yep. Here's your two wires. Yep. If you want to do a three-wire, you just cut it off. Mm. I see. And then, so you cut it off, Mm -hmm. and you just you know, remove the jacket, and then there's the three-wire version. So if you want to do like a servo bias right. uh, electro as a three-wire mm -hmm. yep. or sure, you have it right there. And then the serial number is up the cable, so you don't lose the serial number, which was the problem before because the serial number used to be down there. Ah, uh, got it. So, okay. So now we're good. So this is the VT403 water, so IPX7 waterproof, mm -hmm. now available. You can get it mic only with any of the connectors, or you can get the nice set with the uh, the accessories in the new black box with the new the new black box so mm -hmm. it doesn't have the see-through cover anymore but actually i think it's way cooler beautiful made by otter yeah very cool yeah. Uh, and one other thing i just want to point out that i saw here yes that was is, the other thing i want to talk about this necklace mic because this there's really been a research this is, is brand new uh-huh so this is the 500x so it's the ipx8 capsule so the one where you can be underwater up to two meters for mm -hmm. 24 hours mm -hmm. Um, and then it's the necklace, and then it's the standard wiring, three-wire cable. Yep. So this was developed because they, had, they were getting demand for situations for reality shows where people are going to be in water in and out. All the time. They're not uh -huh. wearing shirts. Mm -hmm. so maybe they're um, in you know, swim clothing, mm -hmm. as the Italians say, a swimming uh -huh. costume. Uh -huh. um, so this was developed for that. You just you strap it on. You're, you're Obviously, you're going to wire up the you know, the transmitter somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Who knows? And uh, Yeah, who knows it be? And you're ready to go IPX8 waterproof. Great. It's awesome. Love it. Okay, and then uh, just seeing this, I don't think I've seen this before. It's just pretty looking. This it's a nice is, looking so, earpiece. Yeah, so VT has the 600 series, uh -huh. which is like the real high end. Right. Um, That's this, yeah? Yep. Yep, okay. So there's a bunch of different versions of that. That's the real high end. So it's a miniature mm -hmm. -ized, um amplifier or speaker, as you want to call it. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the, the simple one. Mm. This one's a lot less expensive. It has the large speaker, but it's replaceable. You can pop it off, replace the cable, replace the tube. So this is a 610, mm -hmm. um, and this is available at a 125 ohm or 32 ohm. Got it. So Great. It has the coiled clear tube. Um, all right, cool. Well, Scotty, thank you for all of this. Yes. Um, a couple of comments just on the, the connectors that yep. uh, you'll be happy to hear. Uh, Andrew said quarter inch connector would be great for a headphone whip to 3.5. Uh, yeah, so on the side of, mm -hmm. of over the shoulder mm -hmm. to get that low profile, they're yeah. absolutely going to make the little jumpers to receive the quarter inch TRS stereo and the mini. Yeah, that's so, so cool. And then um, Mo Hopped uh, says that uh, they are excited about quality pedal board cables that won't break instantly. Pedal boards. Pedal boards. Yes. Yeah. 
I have a pedal board. Uh, and uh, great. I can't wait to wire them up. I've been on a paddle board. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Yeah, we actually, not with the quarter inch, but uh, Temple Boards, which is a pedal board manufacturer, mm -hmm. they just did a, a thing making uh, this guitar player Pliny mm -hmm. um, some custom pedal boards with the quad cortex, and they used our connectors on it, and people went batty over it. Oh, so, nice. So the pedal board world we're kind of into with the, with the XLRs a little, but the, mm -hmm. the quarter inch is exciting to get. Great. Okay. And uh, Henry Rapp says the resistor in line is brilliant. What's so that? Henry Rapp says that the resistor uh, in line on the, the voice tech is brilliant. Ah, yes. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, that's, uh, that's VT's uh, idea. All right. So, awesome. Great. Well, we should get over to Sheps before we... Uh, the big kahuna the over big here. Kahuna. We got over to Sheps. The, as so. I used to say before, Cadillacs were not as exciting as they are. The Cadillac of, uh, of microphones. Well, it's the BMW. Oh, the BMW. What about the Mercedes-Benz? Yes. Oh, this is Helmet big. Will, will this finally. Me. Oh, my yes. gosh. For real. For real, for real. For real. So Tell me about the thing. So here, we'll, we'll start off with the exciting stuff. So if I go over and I hit this, watch the little thing there. So. Oh. So, oh. so it has an app, and it doesn't work with any kind of RF Can we just say what it is I first? No, no, let's just say it. I don't care that it has an app. Say the thing. Look. It's the Shep's CMD42 digital amplifier for the Colette system. There we go. Which a Colette system is 50 years old, if, any, if you didn't Five, know that. Five, zero. Right Crazy. 50 years Colette okay. system. Fantastic. Um, so what better thing to do to kind of jump into the next generation um, of amplifiers for Shep's? So the important thing to know about the CMD, it's not meant to replace analog microphones mm -hmm. like the Colette system. Not meant for that. Um, and it's not a novelty item. It's not like, oh, we made a digital microphone. It has a real distinct express purpose mm -hmm. for adding like, a value add to production sound and sound design, mm -hmm. being a fully digital um, chain from the microphone. So the biggest thing that's cool about this microphone is that it's immune to interference. Ah, wow. Okay. So the digital interference does not travel through the digital um, output of this microphone. So that alone is something to make it worth look at. So it uses the same accessories. So any Colette, you know, any of the capsules, any of the uh, the accessories, pads, so MK4s, MK41s, anything, GBC. Yeah, the active accessories all work with fully compatible. It works on AES 42. Uh huh. So which is the uh, AES signal with digital phantom power. Mm -hmm. So. There are gear, like I have it in 833, which has a AES-42 built in. Yep. Um, sound devices, the A20TX has AES-42 built in. Right. And uh, so does a couple Zaxcom transmitters. Right, the TRX-743. Yes. Yep. So literally you can plug directly in. You just get a cable like this. Uh-huh. Brilliant. And you are digital wireless on the end of a boom. Oh, uh, my friend Marlo uses that uh, term to say it's good. He, whenever he says it's digital, it means digital. it's like it's good, it's great. Um, so, anyway. Yeah, so the, the unique thing um, you know, about the microphone besides those kind of things is you get full dynamic range. Mm -hmm. So back in the day, Sheps had, you know, you, you was either mode one or mode two, mm -hmm. who was running the clock, and then that kind of changed things. So this microphone is mode one or two. So you can record the full dynamic range mm -hmm. of the microphone and but of course, because it's a two-channel system, people want to monitor on set, like volume. You can, on channel one, you can have the, the you know, use it to monitor and use the digital gain, which it has hmm. in, the, uh, in the recorder. And then the second channel could be a raw, untouched signal hmm. that you would actually send to post for them to, to use. Full dynamic range. Wow. So is this, and in terms of this app, is this Bluetooth or how is this connected? So that's what I was going to say in the beginning when I, I know I, was I got like, oh, what are we off. even talking about? Uh -huh. So this app, it's you know you get it. It'll be the app store, whatever like that. It doesn't communicate by any RF. It's mm. dweedle tone. So I don't know if you can. Oh. I'll, I'll put the uh, yeah. I'll hold the mic up to it so you can hear. So if you change any parameter, and then when you save it, so the dweedle tone sends and it imprints the the changes on there. So. What's great about a digital microphone and what they've done, so these value-add features, mm -hmm. um, is you could, of course, the digital gain is important, so you can change the, the volume of the microphone. Mm -hmm. You have you, sample rate, so in pure mode, you can have 192K wow. sample rate. Wow. There's padding, and then, have you ever heard of the CMC6 XT, 
which oh. is the 40K amplifier body. We have it in the digital domain, which what really makes it important there. So to get over 40K, um, it's a much better a digital filter, just is smoother, it's more linear than mm. analog. So this is a great feature for, for that. And then in full mode, we have way more kind of parameters to, uh, to mess. Digital gain, of course, and then we have low cut options, um, analog pad, so you can pad the, the microphone. And then channel configuration. So here's the default, which would be both, whatever you do goes to both channels. Mm -hmm. If you use digital gain, you can go in dual mode. So you, have, you split the two, the two channels of the AES. And then it has, uh, if you didn't know, Sheps actually makes a uh, plugin, an upmix plugin. So I don't know if-, if No, how I'm many not people, familiar. Tell so, me about yeah, it. So upmix is uh, basically you take a, mo you have a mono recording, you extract the diffuse field information from mm -hmm. recording and then decorrelate it into like left to right. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. kind of, it's a great tool for putting mono um, recordings into, into a mix and having it have some, some life to it. So they have, because they can do it, they built it into the mic, yeah. which is awesome. So, cool. And then there's a, a stronger up mix, which has more of the diffuse information mm -hmm. um, in there. The peak limiter, and then there's capsule correction. So how cool is this? You can have an MK2, mm -hmm. flat omni capsule, and you can apply a filter to it to make it a 2H or a 2S. Wow. Okay. So you really get some more flexibility. Yeah. And in the future, there'll be smart capsules. Oh, boy. Uh. <laughs> and I don't, so you'll have to wait and see what, what that, that entails, but that's going to be awesome. I'm freaking out. Um, okay. So um, the question that everybody's going to want to know is when, right? Obviously, there's the, the, one Literally, here. I will have stock in about 10 to 14 days. It's wow. a real product. And do you know how much it's going to be listed? It's going to be 12.95 retail in the in the US for the oh, amplifier. That's not bad. Yep. That's uh, I mean, it used to be like the Super Cement was twice the price of a Yeah, so see, when it came out it was like 4500 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, so, wow. Great. Yeah. Very cool. So, so again, I mean, for if you're doing um, sound design, the Sheps uses the term unparalleled or unrivaled um, ultrasonic response mm -hmm. on this. So the people who do the pitch shifting um, in sound design, the n noise is inaudible. Yeah. And, and of course, all those guys send you pictures of if they when they find it with like the other analog amplifiers. So uh, a real important thing I, I, I forgot to mention in the beginning is that this microphone was beta tested with people from around the world, multiple people in different you know, areas of, of, uh, of recording and, and, and production like for three years, so it's the most extensive live, real beta testing that mm. Sheps has ever done, and it's produced amazing results. Everybody had awesome ideas, so thanks to the beta testers, they did an awesome job. Mm. So, you know, the app has a lot to do with all of the feedback, because, you know, you come out with a new product, and then you dump it out into the world, and everybody finds all the problems, mm -hmm. so hopefully they found out all the, the tweaky stuff that people will you know, want to, want to see. So well, and there's, it's an app, so it's it, easy to upgrade the app. Absolutely. Right. And yeah. And, there, and there's to, no like Bluetooth RF, it's dweedle tone. It picks the mic, picks up the sound and to change any of the parameters. Good to go. Great. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. That's very exciting. Uh, a couple of comments. Um, Dam Yam said, this sounds like a modeling adapter. I'm, I'm not sure what that means, but, um, sounds I, cool. I couldn't confirm or deny I it. I can neither yeah. confirm or deny it. And, uh, Juan has a couple of uh, comments as well. Huge for, big for location audio. Digital mics are coming to stay. Is there going to be a mini CMID version at some point? I can't confirm nor can deny. Neither confirm nor deny. That there'll be any uh, He's such, the fifth. such act activity. Mm -hmm. But uh, that would be a natural progression, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, you know, this kind of is going to make its way into the world and we'll, and we'll see. But uh, they obviously... That's the first thing people ask is, yeah. I want a digital shotgun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then Henry says, the smart capsule sounds super interesting. Me too. Uh, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. Well, I, I think if you think about um, what you can do with that, if, if in the digital domain, it remembers the capsule, remembers the like, frequency response of the mm -hmm. capsule. So when you have a, a you know, dual pair of mics, it remembers them and it can, you know, aligns the sensitivity of the, of the, um, of the amplifier. Mm -hmm. The whole nine. Wow. So I keep pulling away. Um, and then what is the, the moisture and weather rating? I'm sorry? Well, how, how does it hold up with moisture? Well, the capsule's the same. Uh -huh. So obviously, 
you know, the Shep's capsule is going to be no different. Um, humidity doesn't affect a digital amplifier. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you know, RF or, or humidity. So that, that alone, again, is, is a huge, you know, um, thing for, for that. It is not designed to go underwater. No. No, we have the ambient mics for that. Yeah, we've got hydrophones and you got VT waterproof mics. There you go. That's right. That. Um, and then uh, Christopher wants to know if it's firmware updatable. If there is something inside that needs to be oh, updated, yeah. how it, it can oh, yeah. be done. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I mean, during the beta test, we were going back and forth, mm -hmm. getting the mics, putting the new firmware on them, the whole nine. So, yeah, it's not uh, something where it's just it's this forever and, and it's done. So I haven't been given explicit, you know, instruction on how any of that's what's going to go down. But awesome. the, the, it's digital. It has to have some type of upgrade capability. Well, a long time in the making. Um, all right, well, let's, uh, let's just truck over and we'll hit Radius real quick because uh, I know we did a live stream recently. Yes, um, and, John, and John House from Radius is going to uh, grab the microphone. Great, very and, good, Scotty, uh, Mr. Rockstar. All right, nice seeing you guys. See ya. All right, John, good to see you howdy, again. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. How are you doing again? I'm doing all right. So uh, we'll just do this quick because I know we did a video uh, and we had you in our New York store not that long ago. Uh, thank you for coming. So, but let's take a look. You know, give us a quick summary, yeah. and uh, and obviously show off the new so, uh, the new the I'll, new hotness. I'll start off by giving you the uh, new products, the new versions of the products that'll be coming out in the next few weeks. They're already available, so they're making their way to shops uh, again within the next few weeks. And those are all of our new styles of mic clips and hoops. Um, so we've got starting over at the left the eight millimeter clip the 12 and a half millimeter clip, the 19 to 20 mil clip, the special MKH-50 or any of the square body MKH clips. This one's the dark edition. So for those who requested not having the bright blue, we've went with a, a matte finish on the dark edition. And then we've got some new hoop variants. So this is an 82 shore dark edition hoop which is going to be for the RAD2. It'll now be included in the RAD2. So we know some people who use an MKH416 or some of the longer shotgun mics, uh, some of the slip-on protection, especially those with multiple furs, become really heavy. I think they're, they're 20, 30, 40 grams heavier than some of the other slip-on protection. So this is a stiffer hoop, great to put on the front if you use a long shotgun mic mm. with maybe a Bubble B spacer bubble. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next two are just the comparison. These are the same really soft hoops that you're going to use for uh, the small Shups mics or the DPA 4018 EO small mics. But now it not only comes in a light blue that's standard, the dark edition has the matte finish. Mm. So we will offer these as packages. Um, like this right here will be a package specifically for the MKH-50. It's going to be the MKH-50 edition. It will come with the hoops and the clip set up like that. It'll also have the matte finish on it for interior use. Um, and as you can see, that's just some of the samples of the new mounts in action. Oh, I just love that it matches the color of the microphone. I mean, that- All great there. Is more important than how it actually sounds is the, the matchingness. Kidding. It, okay, it okay. does. Okay. The new black fur Nimbus coming out. So as you can see, we're, we're making all the sizes, standard sizes of the Nimbus in this black fur. Mm -hmm. And then we have our newest little lav mic accessories. So we've got the far left. You can't tell the difference, but that's got an embedded foam in there. Uh, I'm sorry, starting at the far right. Fun. Moving to the left mm -hmm. is for the larger hole mics, like the DPA 4060 series. And you got the smaller ones for the miniature mics. Very low profile. And lastly is going to be our upcoming blimp that will retrofit on any of these mounts. Let me pull out the smaller size. So we've got two here, I'll, sizes I'll hold of these. This so you can show it off with two um, hands. So this one's going to be the size for any of the hypercardioid style mics. Um, and this will be the size for any of the smaller mics like the MKH 8050. Um, and the great thing about these is you're going to now be able to get all of those short preamp mics like the Mini C MIT, like the Sanken CSM1, like the DPA 4017Cs, to have a full windshield blimp. And we're going to have furs that cover these. And the great thing about that is you're going to get really great wind protection from a very small 
profile package. So these are coming soon, um, and they'll retrofit on any of these rad mounts, any of the additions. All the hoops are going to be available, so this is all coming out within the next several weeks for all the hoops, and then these blimps will be out this summer. Okay, and can you just show us how this pops on and off? Because I remember when you showed that to me before, I thought it was very cool. Um, Magnet. Yeah, magnetic. Same with that one. There you go. Don't want to knock these other ones over, but you can <laughs> see any of the short preamp mics. This is... Um, Slide it in there. It's got magnets embedded into this retrofit piece. So what will happen is you'll get this retrofit piece, and that locks into any of the mounts, and that slides in. I'll just get it lined up there. And that locks in. And then the front shell does the same thing on this side. Get my cable management there. And that locks in. Um, I will show you one, two last things. One is the quick release that yes. will be coming out. Neat. So we've actually got that on one of these mounts. Oh, I think it's underneath here. That's, so that just shows you that. So this radius blue color, but gets hidden once you lock it into place. That's a really nice touch. And another new product that is very tiny, but we think is tremendous, is this cable management. So this is just this weird little thing we invented to manage some of this cable to make sure you can exit your cable through the right hole on these mounts. And it ended up just being this great little easy to use. You can really manage any kind of cable with it. Very elastic, wrap it around anything. So yeah, that'll be available too when these come out. Um, and many more solutions after that. Very cool. Uh, well, a couple of quick comments, and then we got to run because there's been so much content here that we are very behind. But uh, so Ray uh, says he loves your shirt, uh, oh. which I also love your shirt. That's very cool. Uh, can I have it? Uh, I will say that Gotham will be getting some special T-shirts for I, the no, staff. Soon. This one. I'm just kidding. The, Take you, the shirt right off your back. You, you may have some of these coming your way soon. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, and then PR Katzman from Atlanta uh, says, Hi from Atlanta, John. Love to see that you're doing well. Uh, if that's a gentleman by the name of Paul, I still owe him a fur for 4097 that we're getting just the perfect fit on. We need to get around that mount on the DPA 4097, but I do owe Paul that. I was going to message him, but now he knows live. I owe him that. There we go. Public record. Um, all right. And are you going to sell how many packs of the cables management things are going to um, be in a pack? Honestly, this is such a new product. This is probably going to be, you know, a five or ten pack of these little cable management for, I don't even know, five, ten bucks. Okay. I mean, it's going to be an easy product. Um, but, yeah, we invented it out of necessity, and now it's going to turn into its own little product. Very cool. And Paul says you're the best. Thank you, Paul. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. We're going to hustle over to our next booth and be right back.